Goshen. The delegates gathering in Nairobi, Kenya for the 63rd Greater Horn of Africa Climate Outlook Forum examined the forecast for the March to May 2023 season, which points towards depressed rainfall and high temperatures in the country. We have suffered and continue to suffer significantly and adversely from drought and famine, resulting in a catastrophic humanitarian calamity. We therefore need to develop climate services that are tailored to our needs and particularly for our governments and all stakeholders that utilize these products for socioeconomic planning. We have suffered and continue to suffer significantly and adversely from drought and famine, resulting in a catastrophic humanitarian calamity. Kenya, Somalia and Uganda have been most affected by the recent drought with failed consecutive rainfall seasons recorded in the countries. So basically we are talking about a situation where we are not improving. What we are talking about is we've had failed seasons from March, uh, May, uh, March, May 2022, which was one of the driest in the region. Uh, so we are looking at this uh, cumulative impact of dry season. Even if we get these uh, little rains in the coming season, how far are we going to be outside the drought? We're still looking at a situation where these uh, extended widespread droughts are experienced, especially over the eastern part of the region, that is eastern Kenya, southeastern Ethiopia and Somalia. The prolonged drought has had a devastating impact on the country, with over 4 million people facing severe food shortages and water scarcity. The need for enhancement of our early warning systems uh, cannot be overemphasized. We are in the middle of a, of a drought that uh, has not been witnessed uh, in the last 40 years in this country. Um, and that, uh, among many things, uh, speaks to the need to um, up our game in terms of uh, early warning. The Food Security and Nutrition Working Group, co-chaired by IGAD and Food and Agriculture Organization, estimates that close to 23 million people are currently highly food insecure in Kenya, Ethiopia and Somalia. Uh, generally, we're looking at uh, high chances where we are going to get uh, drier conditions. And uh, basically, when, uh, for the past few years, we've experienced uh, these dry conditions. And uh, we are looking at high chances of a sixth fail season, especially over the arid and semi-arid regions of Kenya, Ethiopia and Somalia. The situation is particularly dire in arid and semi-arid lands in the country, with Marsabit, Samburu, Mandera, Wajia, Isiolo and Garissa being the worst affected. The Kenyan government has been taking measures to address the crisis, including providing relief food and water to affected communities and drilling boreholes to increase access to water. However, the scale of the crisis is such that more needs to be done to ensure that those affected receive the assistance they need. The IGAD report is a stark reminder that climate change is real and is having a profound impact on the African continent. The drought and famine could either be an indictment on the providers of climate prediction products that do not interact effectively with users to meet their demands or otherwise. We therefore need to develop climate services that are tailored to our needs and particularly for our governments and all stakeholders that utilize these products for socioeconomic planning. In response to the report, Kenyan officials have called for increased international support to address the crisis, noting that the country cannot tackle the issue alone. Salma Salim, The Muslim Insight.